three, two, one. Welcome to my Care Collab update on Oncidium Twinkle. First timers, some timers, and every timers. Welcome, it's good to have you here. This is an update on my Twinkle, singular. We'll get to that. And I sincerely hope that the subject of twinkles provides us with plenty, plenty of blooms, right? Right. Anyway, <laughs> back to the Twinkle Care Collab. Last minute participation that didn't go out to everybody that has links in my description below. I would like to introduce to you Chlorophyll is the new black. Her link is in my description below. And if I could ask every participant right off the bat to please go into my description, copy her link and put that in your description, even though you were not given the heads up that we have an additional channel today. The reason being, you can see that the list is super, super long and I had run out of time to inform everybody. So we did a little bit of a fandangle to get chlorophyll is the new black into the care collab fold so welcome chlorophyll is the new black it's good to have you on board as you can see my twinkle has four blooms open yippee i -yay. i don't know what to tell you <laughs> that i'm a little frustrated with this orchid maybe <laughs> maybe in air quotes but yes Many, many reasons that I am a little frustrated with this orchid. As you can see from the beginning, I used to have three twinkles in total and they have diminished themselves to a single twinkle, which may or may not be around in 2022. Now, don't hate me, but I'm gonna put it right out there, right from the start. They are beautiful, they are vigorous, <clears throat> and they smell divine. I've already got with these four little blooms a very, very intense honeysuckle, sweet molasses fragrance in my grow space, but I am questioning whether they are worth it. So I'm going to give you the perspective as an update of having lost two after I tried very, very hard to save the second one. And I'm just going to put a little warning out now. Look away if you don't like to see gross declined orchids if that affects you, because I'm about to show you my Twinkle Cinnamon that I've been trying to save for the past 12 months. There you go. I did have her bloom last year. <laughs> I tried to save her, no dice. Even the little growths that were coming out of the base, it was all one big mess and it was constantly being attacked by scale and I constantly kept washing everything off, treating it as best as possible, changing the hob material over and over again and nothing. So my conclusion personally is, as much as I like every orchid out there, I find that Oncidium Twinkles, they don't do that much for me anymore. The fact that they are super prone to pests, especially right now, while they are forming their spikes, they are also super prone to anything with regards to airflow, a draft, at least in my environment, and I have lost spikes. And we all know that spikes on twinkles take forever to develop, so they need specific amount of attention all the time staying vigilant on top of the bugs and I have to watch out for scale. Every single spike gets a once over every single day, naked eye, not always with the magnifying glass. And there is scale on these spikes during this time of year because that is so sugary, so sweet and why not? But it's not just the pests that I'm fed up with because if the rest of my collection is pest free, if this is a pest magnet and it does so over and over and over again, I really don't need this in my collection, especially because it has to live indoors during this time of year. I do not need any pest transference to any other orchids, no matter which one. They are all indoors during the night and the danger levels, this is like a little nuclear bomb, time bomb here with regards to the pests. I've had mealybugs on this orchid as well, repeatedly. Even though 
This is the one time I will say, even though I'm treating with garlic alcohol. But the growth habit of a little twinkle is so dense, so tightly compact, it is very difficult to get in there with every single drop of treatment without destroying the roots without causing bud blast, because I don't want to be doing this indoors in case I disperse any little crawlers. So I bring her outside, I risk my bud blast, and then, you know, four months to get to this point, four months, and then to have to deal with pests. Now, it's all fun and games if I could get a handle on it and not worry about the rest of my collection. But if a spike has to take four months to develop and bloom, it has got to be some seriously special orchid in my opinion. And a twinkle doesn't fall into that category. I have others in my collections that rank much, much higher. And this little ticking time bomb is living with them at this point in time. I am not going to be binning any twinkle at all, as long as it looks like this. But you can already see that some pest damage has caused some pseudobulbs to rot at the base. And that is danger sign. You see how that bulb there is still green at the top? Yes, I'm losing the leaf as well, but the rot started at the base, meaning I need to go in and clean this little guy up, get that out and deal with it as soon as possible. Am I gonna do that at this point in time? No because I have waited four months to see four blooms and hopefully others are much more advanced because having a Twinkle Care Collab, be it an update or a first time Twinkle Care Collab channel, if we don't have blooms on Twinkles, that just borders on the ridiculous. <laughs> so my four blooms, yay, very happy. But you can see how much bud blast I've already suffered with. I mean, if you look closer from a distance, everything looks great but buds are gonna be blasting left, right, and center because of the amount of time I bring this one out to make sure that the scale doesn't take over and then populate itself among my collection. Especially in the time of twinkles coming into bloom, that is the most dangerous time in my opinion. Pest, very dangerous times. Bud blast, because you have to deal with the pests dangerous times because even if you were to get rid of the pests, now that you've treated the buds and the spikes, they are not very, very robust and they will blast because of the treatment. And if it's not that, it's the airflow, it's the draft. The spike failure as well, that is because of draft. The amount of fertilizer that I put in here is 160 parts per million at this point in time. And she's quite thirsty. So she's getting that like twice a week. And then of course I do a little bit of flushing here and there. And I say here and there, not as rigorous as I would with other orchids, because at this point in time, she's absorbing all the nutrients very, very quickly. The lower temperatures are not really her favorite this time of year. Sorry, I keep checking, but that's just damage from before. So the temperatures are not really her favorite and then flushing plus fertilizer. Seeing as she's taking up 160 parts per million two times a week, she's getting 320. And my night lows are 15 degrees Celsius in my grow space. So I just wanna make sure that my spike abortion or my bud blast is not going to be confused with the fact I'm not giving her enough fertilizer. That has everything to do with my treatment and me making sure that my other orchids in my space are safe. And if I lose a spike here, there, over here, <laughs> you know, I'm okay with it. I just don't want any, any pest infestation to manifest itself during these colder months of the year. And while the orchids are a little tightly packed. Now, granted, she is a little bit away from the rest of the gaggle, but still, a breeze, a draft, anything can launch these little bleeps into the remainder of the space and goodness me, raise havoc elsewhere. So to be quite honest with you, yes, I will be taking care of my twinkle, but if she were not to be around in 2022, should we do another Care Collab update, then I am not gonna be too upset about it. I was so excited to get Twinkles here in my garden center. When I saw the three of them, I bought them straight away. But now, almost two years later, personally, I find them completely and totally overrated. <laughs> that is just my honest 
honest opinion. The headaches with these guys is not worth my time. I had no idea when I brought my twinkles in that they would be such pest magnets in a critical time of year, and I don't need that stress. If this were a Rapiculus Lelia that shows a sheath with a shadow in it four months ago and only now am I seeing buds, I am all over that Rapiculus Lelia. I will make sure everything goes fine, but that is a Rapiculus Lelia, so priorities here. <laughs> Again, one day we will go into this twinkle and we will definitely clean it up and then we shall see if I can get it right and make sure that she stays healthy. Again, the plan is not to discard my twinkle just because, you know, I'm just not a twinkle fan anymore, but to make sure that she grows well. And then we will see what happens should this little orchid come up in a care collab in the future and whether I will be part of it or I will just show you an empty pot and wish everybody else joy with their twinkles. Once again, welcome to Chlorophyll is the new black. Fabulous name. And please, everybody, get that link from my description and add that to the description under your video. I would really, really appreciate it. We will be seeing chlorophyll is the new black around a little more often. All the channels that have participated today, thank you for your patience. The Care Collab alert went out very, very prematurely, but I knew that we were heading into the Christmas season. I wanted to make sure that whoever was on board would know that we would be probably posting quite late into the season, but it gave everybody plenty of time to prepare, film and upload. So thank you for your patience with regards to this Care Collab. Thank you for your participation. And once again, first timers, welcome. Some timers, you're welcome as well. And every timers, thank you so, so much. Welcome. Have yourselves a beautiful, beautiful day on one condition, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.